hey, one of the more enjoyable mysteries of life is that you just never know when the next verse of the Ballad of Butthole Eyes is going to emerge. And every time it does, it has the singular and almost paradoxical distinction of being different, yet almost 100% the same verse as the last one. Yes, Lori Lightfoot, the present mayor of the great city of Chicago and a fashionable Batman villain, so convincing that she outranks actual Batman villains in terms of the -the over-the-top scariness. That Lori Lightfoot has once again ascended from her underground lair slash hair salon to preside over the fate of her town. Seriously, though, this lady, she scares the bejesus out of me. You got to imagine that every time she signs an executive order, a bat gets its wings. Speaking from her podium made of human skulls, the good mayor announced the other day that there will be a new program in Chicago, one which gives low-income families $500 a month as part of a plan to promote, quote, equitable recovery from everything that's gone on during the covid pandemic in a voice made husky by years of all the demons trying to talk at the same time she said i remain committed to making an equitable recovery from the pandemic to stabilize and ensure the well-being of all residents the chicago resilient communities pilot is a way for us to efficiently support the communities and households that were hardest hit by the pandemic with dignity, as well as build on our work to eradicate poverty. I'm deeply proud to launch the largest cash assistance program of its kind in the country as we continue to provide economic relief to residents and strengthen our city, end quote. Then she said a bunch of extra stuff in Latin, breathe fire into a microphone and let this whatever left to go get lunch uh something like that anyway look there's a lot to unpack about this first of all not every low-income household in chicago will be receiving these payments it's a lottery system so i don't know you get a scratch off ticket if you get double butthole eyes you win maybe i don't know second of all this comes wrapped up inside a 1.2 billion dollar chicago recovery plan and that includes things like handing out gas cards which was proposed recently on a federal level and summarily rejected on the very stable grounds that it doesn't fix the problem at all in short chicago will soon be even further enmeshed in the welfare state than it already was those of us on the right understand that this only makes poverty worse and Chicago's fate as a destination city is predictable and sad. And it really is sad. From a leftist perspective, of course, this is a massive win. The war on poverty is as full of people with their heads in the clouds as it ever was. And now we get to throw the term and the idea of equity into boot. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to comment on that part, did you? This is a mayor who has gone on record stating that she would only do interviews with non-white reporters. The term equity to Lori Lightfoot has a about the same resemblance to its original meaning as the word statistic did to Stalin. Folks, there's a good argument to be made that in the early days of the pandemic, government entities that shut down everyday American life might bear some responsibility to help kickstart the economy back up, but we're almost halfway through 2022, and that shit's been over for a while now. You want to help Mayor Lightfoot? Get out of the way of your city's economy. Give up the tyrannical level of power that you've been feeding off of for years now and deregulate and privatize. Then rinse and repeat until the filth of leftist socialism is finally washed out of your damn city. It ain't going to happen, but boy, boy, can we dream. I, I don't know how we continue to pour this much ignorance into society. And people go, hmm, that's a good idea. It's not a good idea. Never has been. Welfare statism is among some of the most evil policies that exist in this country. Um, It incentivizes failure. It incentivizes uh, you to because what it says says so as long as you're at this line, we're going to give you the money you get above it. We're taking it all away. So what incentive do, do you have to get out there and go be be great? But no. think about it. It is a Democrat after all. And if Democrats actually had solutions for the problems, they wouldn't be in power. Uh, so they need them to be where they're at. 